Heather's at the RV, and I just uh, went to the local hardware store. I didn't want to go to the big box store right now because I'm right, you know, it's kind of like right down the street. But look at that. Look at how dusty that is, guys. But it's special. New and improved wood primer, gray, so it won't, won't stand out. And it's a whole. She marked it down to like four dollars and ninety-five cents because it was older. But I'm just using it to cover stuff up just for sealant reasons. So who cares, right? Don't matter. I gotta go to Angles and pick a few things up. And I gotta put the AC on now because it's hot. It's hot. It's ninety-one degrees. Is what it's saying on my car. Where's fall? I'm put the AC on now. I can't put the AC on. I'm sweating right now because I'm doing camera. So I can put the AC on because it's too loud to tape. This is something you guys haven't seen because we didn't do a vlog yesterday. But I worked and Heather worked our butt off. Something walking in the woods, a fox or something. Anyways, been working my butt off. Remember all that OSB? Not anymore. Redid the whole window system. Redid everything. Sealed everything. And now I'm gonna. Uh, now I'm gonna coat it with a like a, that gray primer for five bucks. But this is way better, way stronger. And we insulated the inside. Come take a look. So what we did here is we cut out panels of insulation, liquid nailed them like we did over here and over there. So now I have a whole new window system. Really, really, really nice, guys. I'm really happy. That's gonna be well insulated for this winter. Then we're gonna put sheetrock inserts. We're gonna cut sheetrock to insert it in there. And then put the uh, Wayne's board on the outside or siding or stucco. We're not sure yet, but. Look at how clean we did. We even put silicone all inside there so there's no gaps. There's no air holes. It's just, just There's like no air at all in this window system. Nothing. So this is really good. It's really tight. Liquid nails. So done. No more OSB. OSB. We're going to seal it now and we'll get back with you. This paint is old. And the problem is it's an oil base which is good. Because then it de definitely won't rot the wood now. I mean... You're talking huge, but I promise I can't clean up anything. Oh yeah, it's oil base. But, oh well. Looks a lot better than wood. It's protected like crazy because it's oil base. Can't get it off anything. Water doesn't even touch this stuff. It just doesn't touch it. I did these two again over that other sealer I bought, put it over again. So, <laughs> it's like putting fiberglass over it like my dad would say. I mean, it's not gonna leak. You can patch a boat with this stuff <laughs> so that's good it's solid insulated sealed now we're just gonna go over it whatever we go over with screening and then uh, stucco or Wayne's board or vinyl we don't know yet let me see if I got any lacquer thinner or thinner or uh, something because that's that stuff is nasty I'm not whining I'm not complaining I'm just bitching Urgh, I can't believe I ruined all my stuff and I don't feel like going to get thinner because I just don't feel like getting it. I'm not going to ruin that. It's my oil change thing. It's okay. But golly, what a mess. Oh, oil base, my goodness. Yuck. They're unsubscribing because we got a Trump mug. And you know what? I didn't. It was just a fan that sent me that. I didn't even know it was in the box. But I'm the bad person. We're the bad people? Come on. I haven't been on camera lately because I'm tired of all the hateful words that are on there and it bothers me a lot. So I have chosen to just keep my thoughts to myself. Why are you moving that camera? Because it, it's what they do in professional videography. They kind of like move it this way and move it that way. Do I look like a personal per... Uh, per uh, You're supposed to keep your eyeballs on it. But that is what I've chosen for right now because I am a little irritated with everything. I just think that people shouldn't be so ugly towards other people. And I feel like nobody can be nice to anybody else. It doesn't, it's just worse and everybody's worse and out, worse. Everybody's worse. And I'm just a little irritated about it today and yesterday. And Everybody's out for instant gravitation. Gravitation. Vacation. Instant. They want. And we don't do everything perfect. We don't. We're doing it the way that we think it should be done, or the way we've learned how to do it. And we don't know. Anything sometimes either. we're wrong, and sometimes we we're pretty dead on. But you know what? We share everything with you guys. Every single moment. Even when our dog falls off the couch. Look, they're falling off the couch. No, she's got her butt stuck in there. Anyways, what and else it's not. Wants? That's not for everybody. But I just. I'm letting you know why. 
because I'm just, I don't like all the ugliness sometimes and I really didn't want that in our channel and it just bothers me sometimes. That's why. Maybe our peeps will stick up for us in the comments. We'll see. They usually do. Stick up for us, peeps. I just want to do a little tip for uh, anyone that's in an RV that wants to work out. Now, this is something simple I'm going to show you, okay? It's a push-up, but let me show you how to do it. Don't put your hands flat like this. It'll hurt your wrist. Always grab a dumbbell or the, or the, or the push-up things. I just happen to have dumbbells. I'm too lazy to go over there and get them, so. This right here, not lazy, you know I'm not lazy, but you know what I mean. Um, basically, when you do a push-up, start off on your knees. Don't do full push-ups on your toes, because you gotta warm, warm that rotator cuff up. You gotta get those gases and water in there, and whatever you gotta, this, whatever the juice is, whatever, right? And uh, so, when you come down, start on your knees to warm up, and when you come down, come down right about here. See, my chest is not touching the floor, and just hold it there. Just a little bit, and it come up. And if you can't do a full push-up even on your knees, just hold it. Just hold it where you can. Just, as long as you're straining that muscle, just holding it there. Come down a little bit more, you know what I mean? As long as you're straining that muscle, you're good. Now, I can do it on my toes pretty easy. But when I got back into working out, I had to do it on my knees again, you know? So this is harder. Because I'm holding it like an inch above the floor. I'm not touching my stomach. So you get three times as fast, you get tired. Even if you just held it there like this and dropped, right? You hold it there for like 30 seconds and drop. If you can't go up, that's okay. You're, you're still breaking down the muscle. So let your shoulders rest and then do it again. You know, rest a little bit longer than that. I've been doing them so I'm warmed up. But. And then do them on your toes later. Hold it there. See, it's hard. I've been doing it for a while before this. I just thought I'd do a video on it, a little video clip of it. But just do that. You don't have to go crazy. If you can't do a full push up, it's okay. I couldn't. With the Sasser on a 33, I could barely do it. What? Do them on your knees. Matter of fact, I'd rather see you guys do them on your knees and not rip your shoulders apart. Do a thousand of them if you have to. Who cares? A thousand? Well, we, I used to do a thousand on my toes. But that was doing it for four years straight, two hours a day working out. So you can't compare me to the average. Now you can compare me to the average because I am average. <laughs> and not even doing, I did 150 on my knees. That was hard. But I used to do 1,000 and then go work out the gym heavy. So, but I, I don't do that anymore. I just don't, I kind of do the extreme before I, I I'm an extremist. So I'm gonna, I, when I do something, it's all the way. It's 100 and, 50% on one thing and that's what I do. That's just the way I am. I'm, I'm wired. I'm wired like that. Fred, what are you doing? I'm painting. Why don't you sell one of these? These things are great. You can ship them. They're nice and thin. Why don't you sell one of them? Because every time I put them up for sale, nobody buys them. No one buys that? Hand painted? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. I think it looks great, Fred. So if no one buys them, it's okay. At least you can say that you're the best. I'm not the best, but thanks for saying that. You guys, she doesn't, she's too embarrassed to sell her paintings because she thinks they suck, but they don't. They're awesome. So if you guys want this painting, we're selling it. I'm selling this painting <laughs> when she's done. See the etching she's put on there? It's a flower. It's really good. It's the sun. It's we're selling sun, this. It's a moon. So you, we're selling this kind of like make an offer to us and we'll ship it to you kind of like that deal. You just make an offer in the comments. And put your address and Heather will ship it to you. This is my painting. PayPal. This is my painting and you're giving it away for free? Yeah, because you have about 150 of these you need to get rid of. There's too many paintings. But this is my painting. Well, we're going to sell this one, guys. And uh, He thinks so. Put the bid in on the comments below and then uh, we'll give you the PayPal thing. that, he And uh, we'll ship it. it to you and you know we're good for that. So, have a good one, guys. Well, no. Wait, we still got more to the night. And she's going to sign it right here in a corner. She's going to sign it, Heather Dupre. Better wash this off. I changed the filter. I didn't show you guys, but I changed the filter. Ooh, some brown rice. How to make it with some brown rice. Good, clean carbs. Carbohydrates. I need some carbohydrates. 
I need some carbohydrates. Now, guys, while I'm doing dinner here, I just want to tell you, clue you in on something. I got something coming in the mail, and it's probably the coolest thing on a fifth wheel you'll ever see. And I don't want to tell you what it is. Can you end the video, Fred? Can you tell that Ross has been skating on a thin line all day? What, ice? He's been skating on a very, there's, very thin line. There's no ice! Hey guys, you guys ice, know ice, what to do. Ice, ice, baby. Da -da -dun 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 -dun. All right, back. Jack! Ross is back, Jack! You want me to keep singing? No, I don't. I wanted to paint, but I can't finish painting because somebody won't stop talking to me when I'm painting. Ross, Ross, baby. Ross is back. You know that, Jack. I'm back. Say bye. I said bye. Lagos and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.